Good morning and welcome to Cookmas Coconut Coffee. Just Attention! <laughs> I have big it's been some days since we moved. As you can see, there's not that many boxes behind me anymore. But for now, we're gonna go explore Birmingham and we're gonna get some Christmas presents. So basically what we wanna do, as our birthdays were not that long ago, mine was in November, we're basically gonna go to a store and we're gonna get things for the apartment and each one of us is gonna pick different things that the other one is not gonna see and we're gonna wrap them up and have them as Christmas presents under the tree. So that's the plan for today and we're also gonna, yeah, see the center of Birmingham for the first time and just explore a little bit. So let's go to that. I'm gonna change to my phone and then when we come back, I'm gonna tell you more and also show you around and we'll see what we cook today. So let's go. back and our trip was a little bit of a fail in terms of presents instead I got coffee coconut coffee and we got McDonald's we went to a city center it's actually super nice but there was a lot of people like a lot for being a Thursday because today is Thursday in the morning and it was filled with people so we got a little bit stressed and we decided to walk back although the city looks really nice we found super cute spots but yeah we're here we're gonna eat Changing to Christmas mood. Today we were flying. We were supposed to fly to Spain today. I don't have milk because as you saw, I bought the almond meals and I don't like them with coffee. So I'm gonna use them anyway. I'm gonna use them in cakes and baking and sauces. But if you haven't seen them, I tried them in the last video, I think. So you can go check that out. But I don't like them with my coffee. So I haven't had coffee in like four days, maybe something like that. Because yeah, I don't drink black coffee. I, I mean, I need to go buy milk, but we're gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow or the day after, so I'm gonna get it then. And I got a coconut coffee and I'm so happy. And Cafenero is the only one that has coconut. So if you're from the UK or you live in the UK and you know which shops have coffees with coconut milk or hazelnut, let me know in the comments. But yeah, we're gonna eat and probably make gingerbread cookies or a gingerbread house that's gonna be more funny. So I'll see you later. No diet today. Mm, shameless! How is our gingerbread house gonna be like? Because we're just gonna. Skyscraper. But gingerbread okay. skyscraper. You're like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Ingredients here, house design there. We're getting it. Plus, show me your t shirt, please. And we're watching Rick and Morty. I've decided I'm gonna film while we make this recipe. So by the time you're seeing this video, the recipe is already gonna be up on my Instagram. It's gonna be probably a Reels. So you'll have it there. And now we're gonna make the cookies, like the cookie dough, basically. Here's your behind the scenes. Our butter. Here's our cookie dough. I'm putting it on the fridge because it needs to rest. I'm gonna leave the ingredients, like the exact ingredients we used for the gingerbread cookie down in the description of the video. So now we're letting it sit a little bit in the fridge and then we're gonna roll it and to roll it and make it the same size, I'm gonna use this broken chopping board. So I'll just roll it over it to get that thickness. And then also here I have um, the pieces that we're gonna be using because Morton cut like this is gonna be the ceiling and we're gonna be working with that. And I'm also gonna try to make some caramel to put on the windows like a glass. So I'm not sure how that's gonna turn out. And after that, we're gonna be making also the royal icing for the cookies. So that's the plan. And I forgot about my coffee and it's completely cold, but I'm still drinking it anyway. We have cookies all over the place right now. Cookies here, cookies everywhere. And now we're gonna be making the royal icing to decorate. And I'm not sure about quantities, so we're gonna be using icing sugar, just some tablespoons of water, and then you need to use either egg white or egg white powder. I found this one that we're gonna try, and I'm basically just gonna improvise with the measurements. So let's do it. Thank you. 
amazing piping bags ready for the cookies and they're already coming out I mean I'm making some caramel which I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out to make the windows so I'm not completely sure about that let me let me show you some caramel here some cookies here the mess from the icing a Morton efficiently cleaning that's how the caramel thing is looking like I think it was a little bit of a fail but I hope it turns a little bit nice at least and here we have the piping bags and it's finally time to decorate them so are you gonna help me? can we place that so it, get, it keeps filming? okay do some decor let me show you what's going on here's a tree our doors looking like this walls me having no idea what i'm doing ceiling <laughs> time lights in three two one And this is the truth of a gingerbread house. It's so messy and now we need to make it stick together, which is even funnier. The windows kind of worked. The idea is to put some lights inside the house. So we'll see how that goes. Not that up. Oh my God, we placed the other one upside down. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I do this. <laughs> In both sides, In quite a lot. Is there a nice for <gasps> It fell. Ah! We thought you were dry. <gasps> hold, hold. Shit. Fuck. So yeah, it was a fail, but now it looks like it's holding. So we're gonna wait a little bit longer this time and then we're gonna try to build the, um, the ceiling. Can you bring one of the cookies there? The one you don't like. Just one. Yeah, just one that you don't like so we can try it. Yeah, they're so gingerbread like that's really good <laughs> Kill me. the house is ready so let us know in the comments how do you think we did because i'm super excited like it looks so good it has <laughs> cracks at the windows and like a huge hole here <laughs> look at this the roofing is pretty shoddy <laughs> it's like you know what it's like okay that sounds a little bit bad maybe it's like Charlie. It's like the house of Charlie in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing place. But can it comes we, with a snowman. Can we watch Charlie in the Chocolate Factory? Maybe. Tonight. Please. It's 9.30. Have you ever seen a penguin snow white? No, it's no man. It's no man. Penguin snow white. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I haven't actually. I made a snowman. And it's a penguin. It wasn't supposed to be a penguin. Kill me. <laughs> but it turned out like this. It took us literally about five hours. Am I in the shot? No. Hi, here, hey, please. Attention. The, <laughs> the camera is gonna die. <laughs> Please <laughs> respect. Okay. So, oh my God. <laughs> I have a super funny cameraman right now. <laughs> Alright, so it took us about five hours to make the house. <laughs> and some cookies <laughs> that are even more messy. But the thing is that it's 9.30 and we haven't eaten since lunch. Well, just some cookies. So... We're gonna find out what to eat for dinner. Okay, we've decided that for dinner we're gonna be making something similar to a shepherd's pie and I've actually versioned my own recipe. So if you want the recipe step by step, there's a video in the channel and also I'm gonna link the video and the recipe on my website so you can see that too. But I'm versioning it a little bit. Basically, we wanna grate all our veggies fry the meat, add the onion, the carrot, celery. The last ones need to be zucchini and mushrooms because that takes nothing to cook. And then we're gonna add some red wine, soy sauce, 
ketchup, tomato paste and mustard. And spices, I added salt, pepper, thyme and garlic powder, that's it. So the veggies get super tender and you kind of don't feel them, it's mostly meat. And then uh, for the top, I'm gonna use potatoes and also I had a little bit of cauliflower that I needed to make so it's gonna be a mash of potatoes and cauliflower on top and we're gonna build it because it's ready. And for the mashed potatoes I usually add one egg yolk and some soya butter but I don't have soya butter so I think I'm just gonna put some oil and I'm gonna be basic tonight but if not I would add that and also usually I add some nutmeg. <laughs> And this is how our like meals in general look like. So we have to split it and he has cheese and I have nutritional yeast or whatever I can put. Oh no! Oh, I have vegan oh. cheese! <laughs> oh, vegan cheese! Yes, please keep yes. me vegan cheese! <laughs> Yes! I'm not used to that. I already put, look, I already put the nutrition. Oh my, I'm, you're not even looking I don't at know me. How you can't control yourself when you remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I already put the nutritional yeast. I got so excited now. Uh, this cheese is my new best friend. Well, maybe not this. We're gonna try other brands, uh, like other types, but because this one, you know, how I felt about it. But I, it's so good. I can have. Look! Cheese! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Let's. And you just can't hide it. <laughs> exactly. Guess ah. what? We're gonna be watching! What? Shameless. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you haven't seen Shameless, I don't know what you're doing. If you haven't seen Shameless, shame on you. Ah. And also, Gilmore Girls. Please watch Gilmore Girls. That's a joke. Please. Just don't joking. And I'm gonna make him watch Friends next. Good luck. <laughs> Disaster. This looks amazing. Honestly. It looks super good. I mean, the vegan cheese this? doesn't... Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Or this? That looks super good too. <laughs> vegan cheese has nothing to do with the normal cheese uh, on terms of appearance, 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 appearance. Okay. Appearance. 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 We got that. That's what happens to me all the time. So yeah, and we're gonna watch something, we're gonna eat, and I think that's gonna be it. Well, maybe we're gonna play Overcooked. Maybe. Maybe. We got a second controller for the PS4 yesterday, and we started playing Overcooked, and I love it. It's my kind of game, <laughs> basically. So yeah, if I convince him, maybe we're gonna play some Overcooked. Because it's a little bit too stressful so i think that's gonna be it for today so thanks for watching today's video i hope you like it remember that you're gonna have the links and ingredients and everything i've been telling you about in the description of the video for the recipes and that you can always follow me on instagram and subscribe if you haven't done it yet and that likes help the channel a lot so give it a like if you like the video and i'll just see you tomorrow with the next cookmas I already told you, but we're spending Christmas here alone together, so there's gonna be cooking involved, because... And also, I'm getting a package... For, uh, yeah, you'll see, you'll see. In the next video, or the next of the next of... We'll see. Bye. Walking by, and he's coming home. Hello. It's my house? I'm a happy little Christmas.